Hello and welcome to another Michael Brooks podcast. I firstly want to apologise for taking such a long break. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a podcast episode and to all my listeners out there, I, I'm very sorry. Um, I've just kind of been sort of reevaluating where I am in this moment. Um, so I stopped making blog posts and I've kind of slowed down on making tweets. Um, I've gone back to Instagram, but I'm not like spending too much time on now. Just take like posting a couple of pictures, start sharing stories. Um, and just, yeah, see, see where I go with that. I've also reinstalled Facebook on my phone. Um, again, uh, I uninstalled Facebook due to sort of mental health problems and getting caught up in the news and what other people are saying. And I just ended up just using Facebook so much during the day that it got to a point where I was like, I need to stop doing this. So I uninstalled it from my phone and it was like a great time. Um, I would just, I'd use a website every so often, but you know, I didn't have like notifications popping up all the time. Um, I, in the past I have turned off notifications for Facebook and I've done that now just because I don't really like Facebook notifications popping up because there's just so much rubbish and it just every time it like pops up saying your friend shared this and you look at it and you're like, I don't care. <laughs> I like it's someone I never speak to. Why are you showing me this content? Like you probably know what I'm interested in. Share the stuff I'm more interested in. Um, so yeah, Facebook's kind of messed up, but I've reinstalled it um, because I feel like my mental health has improved a lot. And like since reevaluating where I am, like emotionally, mentally, and physically as well. Um, I feel like I can sort of uh, use these apps again, like Facebook and Instagram, use them again and not get so caught up in the moment. And because I, yeah, I feel like I'm in a better place financially as well as emotionally and physically. So um, I think that kind of helps. Um, sorry if that shouted then. It's <laughs> kind of like swallowed and then started talking at the same time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So reevaluating myself, kind of seeing where I, what I've done in the past, um, what's working, what isn't, um, what I can carry on doing and what I should kind of either stop or take a longer break from. Um, today I posted a new blog post. And I know usually I have my podcast episodes correspond to my blog posts, and this one isn't. It's completely separate from a blog. It's just general talking. Um, and I think that's a good thing. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to carry on having my podcast episodes correspond to my blog posts, because I guess I want it to be a separate conversation. Like I tried this with my newsletter as well. So my newsletter episodes were just duplicates of my blog posts because I thought that's what worked. Um, and then I reevaluated and was like, mm, this isn't what I want to do. So I kind of um, added my own like story, added extra bits and was like, oh, here's my latest um, blog posts. And I feel like that works better. Um, so I will probably maybe just post something on my blog saying, here's my latest podcast episodes, or maybe add it into my newsletter. I'm, I'm still deciding on exactly what to do. Um, but I feel like the current, uh, how I'm currently doing my podcast or was doing my podcast and blog post wasn't quite working. And I feel like, um, posting every day as well so i post my blog every day and i did it for 40 days and made podcast episodes to correspond to that blog post every day um whilst also 
working full time and it's it's a lot to do and takes a lot of my time so I think I need to slow down on both fronts and be more thoughtful of what I'm posting between each place when I'm posting them and and so forth um because it, I mean I tried scheduling um I tried kind of recording like three or four podcast episodes in a day just to schedule them throughout the week um and again it's like I've only got so many hours in a day I, I can't do this every day and it kind of it definitely burns you out and because uh, I I didn't really make any podcast episodes during the weekend because I'm in a one bedroom flat and I've got my wife here as well and um, I find it weird trying to record when someone else is in the room or in the, I guess in the flat um, I know that's something I probably need to overcome and Tiff's trying to encourage me to like overcome it and if she'll be listening to this and being like well you need to overcome it <laughs> um again so yeah i haven't been recording on the weekend so i kind of bulk record on like thursday and friday to get over the weekend hurdle um and schedule them for the weekend and again it just it just takes so much time and effort um on top of like my blog posts and full-time work as well um, and I've given my newsletter a huge break and I would love to give that some love um, make it go back to being a weekly uh, issues and yeah it's I kind of I want this to be sustainable and I want this to kind of be my full-time career but I need to work out what is sustainable and what isn't um, in terms of like time because I haven't got a lot of it. If I had more supporters, then I could spend less time uh, um, doing my job, like my web development job, and I could go and do more, spend more hours creating content, which would be fantastic. But at the, and that's kind of how I've been spending my time is like how I feel I should be spending it if I was working on it full time. And I can't do that because I've got a full time job. So it's just juggling all this stuff all together. And I need to find a good balance and restore, have some restoration like within myself, I guess. Um, Cause I've, like, I've got fitness as well. I do that pretty much every day. I've kicked that up a notch. So I've gone from five days of week to six days which doesn't seem like an awful lot um but it really is um and i'm also doing like some at-home workouts as well so i'm actually doing it twice a day um i'm not doing it twice a day six days a week it's just kind of um i think it's like twice a day on the weekdays and then i've got saturday where i do just crossfit and then Sunday I take a rest. So there's a lot going, like a lot happening right now. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot happening right now. Um, I've reevaluated. I've added, made some additions and some subtractions to what I'm doing in my life. And yeah, we'll, we'll just see how it pans out. Um, so I, I don't think I can promise a daily podcast right now. I know I did in the past, um, but I've also made lots of promises in the past that I haven't kept to, e.g. the weekly newsletter, which just has taken a very long break. Um, daily blog posts as well. We well, were supposed to try and do 100 um, daily blog posts, and that just never happened. Like the closest I got to was 40, which, you know, is a good milestone. Like not a lot of people can get there. Um, but Again, I, I failed on that promise. Apologies if you can hear stuff in the background. There's currently a lorry reversing. <laughs> Great timing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I really want to involve more people in my podcast. Um, so through community 
like talking to me on messages, asking me questions that I can answer or, you know, stuff I can include into the podcast. So if you sent me a message and said like, oh, your podcast episode was really great today. And then I can be like, wow, Joe Bloggs said um, my podcast was great last yesterday or well, your last one. Um, or Jane Doe really wanted to send a word of encouragement. No, something like that. Um, also, if you kind of support me monthly on my Kofi page, you will get shout outs and you will get personal requests. You can have personal requests on it um, and on my blog post as well. So, yeah, check out my Kofi if you're interested. I know this is kind of a long one, it's probably one of the longer ones that I've recorded um but that's i think that's pretty much it that's where i'm at um i'm going to try and involve more of a community feel within these i think but just, i'm not sure how yet so i need to work that out um but yeah it's friday i hope you guys had a good day or have a good day depending where you are I hope you guys have a good weekend and roll on next week let's smash the weekend and see what happens Right. Goodbye.